Hey, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm low key running out of Across the Spider Verse content, but you already know we had to talk about the spot, but not just any spot. I'm specifically talking about this version of the spot. Nah, cause this man really went from rags to riches. He literally went from robbing ATMs to running the main character's pockets in the span of 30 minutes. The spot really had a crazy glow up. He went from you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. And before we get into this video, if you guys can do me a little favor and smash that subscribe button, that'll be great. You will not regret it. So the scene kicks off with Miles Morales going down this pipe like he's in a Super Mario Smash Bros game. And my boy Miles has no clue what's happening right now. All I could hear was him just screaming at the top of his lungs hoping that everything would be fine. But let me tell you Miles, you're in for a ride in a very long one. Miles Morales jumps out of the battle bus and it looks like it's his first time being in the air. Cause tell me why bro is tumbling and falling everywhere as if he isn't Spider-Man. Like dog, just use your webs or something. You have superpowers for a reason. I don't know what's going inside of Miles' brain right now, but someone needs to slap some sense into him so that he can start locking in. And turns out they got my boy on a whole different planet called Mumberton where him and Gwen are chasing after the spot trying to pack him up before he absorbs too much energy and becomes unstoppable. Like my boy spot can't catch a break cause Mons just fought him like 15 minutes ago. They were after the spot like he was the Krabby Patty secret formula. They were straight fiending cause they literally came to a whole different universe just to fight the spot. Like let him live his life bro. The spot was out here causing havoc cause he was traumatizing people for no reason and I'm actually surprised why they were scared of him because because he looks like Captain America before the serum. Like the spot is the least intimidating person you'll ever see. Like look at Unk over here. It looks like bro's life is flashing before his eyes. And the spot was even trying to spit some game to these two ladies. But my boy is clearly not Duke Dennis when it comes to this stuff. Like the body language says it all. They wanted nothing to do with this freak of nature. This has to be some type of harassment, bro. So Gwen being the ultimate hater webs the spot onto the wall. Like bro, she actually makes my blood boil. Cause she doesn't want to see anyone win. Like tell me why she was getting jealous when Mouse and Spider Bite were chopping it up. Like I'm sorry Mouse doesn't rock with your trash ass haircut that you got from Supercut. Gwen tries her best Superman impression only to get hit with the Ronaldo special straight in the cranium. And she got put right to sleep with that single kick from the spot. Like I don't know who told her that she could fight but she needs to put that Spider-Man suit in the dumpster and do us all a favor. Like what is she even good for? She's only making Miles' job harder at this point. Miles Morales' snow bunny senses start to tingle and he goes in to save Gwen but we all know something in Miles' head told him that he low-key shouldn't save her and just leave her to die from fall damage. I'm talking have her looking like Gwen Stacy from The Amazing Spider-Man. So then we probably get one of the most weakest pull-ups I've then ever seen cause some bootleg Spider-Man named Pav appears out of nowhere. Like when this man appeared on my screen, I was like, who are you? Like dog, who invited this man on the team? Like they really be letting anyone join the squad nowadays. Cause tell me why this man is posed up like he's the unincredible Hulk. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is not yoga class. Alright, so the fight starts and the trio pulls up on the spot and Maz Morales really thinks he got that dog in him. Cause he lunges at the spot only to get hit with the You're not that guy pal, trust me. You're not that guy. The spot was on timing cause bro launched Miles Morales straight to the wall had my boy hitting the Yeah I'm not gonna I'm getting cooked. I already know after Gwen saw Miles getting bodied by the spot she was ready to leave Miles like a dad going to get the milk from the grocery store. And I knew it was gonna be a straight cooking session because look at how my boy spot was posed up. He was just standing there relaxing everything with his hands behind his head. Like if your opponent starts emoting mid fight your best bet is just to surrender and take the L. So everyone starts chasing after the spot like Rod Wave chasing after a cheeseburger. Only for Miles and Gwen to get effortlessly slammed into the wall by the spot. Like look, he had them eating straight bricks. I already know half of their teeth are gone for getting their faces smashed into the building. The spot is gonna be having them looking like an average UK person after the fight is over. Nah, cause you'll understand where the path slander comes from. Like tell me why this man is having a conversation with the spot mid fight talking about chai tea. Like honestly, nobody wants to hear what this dude gotta say. 
just shut up and be useful for once unlike Gwen Stacy and just throw some hands. And Miles Morales had that Hall of Fame chase down badge activated. He was out here moving like LeBron James. He was not giving the spot any chance to escape and get away. He was calculating every single move. So the spot proceeds to give Miles that CTE special and hits his head off that wooden plank and then bounces him off the wall like it's a game of pinball and then grabs his neck. Like the food is not going anywhere. There's no reason for you to be grabbing his neck that hard. And he was doing the exact same thing earlier. And bro, he only has beef with Miles just because he threw a bagel at his head. Like I'm starting to think that the bagel isn't the only reason he has hate for Miles Morales. Because you do not need to be gripping on a 16 year old's neck like you're Batman. So the spot slams Miles Morales through two entire walls. And if you close your eyes for even a second, all of you guys would have missed this crucial detail. So let me go take a tiny step back and replay this for y'all. Okay, first of all, tell me how bro just teleported into the sky in like 0.2 milliseconds. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. what am I missing? Because since when was a spot like that? Like, y'all remember his last fight with Miles Morales? We were not seeing any of this. I guess I was not familiar with his game. And the spot was straight up bullying Miles Morales like a Disney Channel bully. Because bro just pushed him straight into a portal which made him crash through an entire billboard. And my boy Miles was on 10 HP. He was just sitting there like, we have a problem. We have a problem! So everyone forms as a group and starts going after the spot and they realize if they don't stop him in his tracks, he might become too strong for them to handle. And you already know Miles accepted that it was too late because look at this starting lineup. They got my boy Miles stuck with Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man. What do you expect them to accomplish? So the spot pulls up to the headquarters to complete his transformation and look at how easily he just walked in. Like y'all gotta upgrade your security because letting bro enter your property like it's his own house is crazy. Like someone has to stop this man. We gotta call Toby Maguire at this point because I don't know who else can put an end to these shenanigans. So the spa presses the button and puts a barrier between him and everyone else to prevent them from entering. And this man was making random people enter his portals. Like bro, imagine if you're at work and a random 7 foot creature starts teleporting you to different dimensions. And you could tell that it was personal between Miles Morales and the spa. Because he said that he was tired of getting called villain of the week. Cause he told Miles he was about to come villain of the century. So Miles Morales tells everyone that he's been working on something new. But then he proceeds to do this. Like he definitely burned the entire kitchen down with that, he was not cooking. Like I don't know if I can call you Spider-Man anymore if you're struggling to do such a small task. And now it's finally time for the hardest entrance in the entire movie. Because my dog Hobie pulls up after being absent for half of the movie. Like when the world needed him the most, I guess he appeared. So Pav rushes at the spa only to get hit with a Chris Breezy special. And then Gwen tries going in but she gets teleported right into Pav and strikes him down like a bowling pin. And this is where the tables turn completely. Because the spa turns into the Undertaker and grabs both Hobby and Maz Morales. But he said he's not finished because this man proceeds to smack everyone into the sidelines like an irrelevant side character. Nah cause tell me why they gave Hobie one of the coldest entrances just for him to air ball. And the spa is actually a legendary villain because he casually hops into the collider getting ready to have the greatest transformation of all time. And as a last effort, everyone tries stopping him from entering the hyperbolic time chamber. But as the saying goes, you could not live with your own failure. And where did that bring you? Back to me. Like this has to be top 3 transformations of all time and it's not 3 or 2. Like this man was moving differently when he got his new glow up. He was even talking differently. Like someone passed the spot his 4PF chain because he deserves it. Like I want you guys to take a look at the spot's aura. He had this man Miles quivering in his boots just from his presence. I guess you could say that the spot is just built different. 